Inert gases were found in the free state in nature but only in trace amounts therefore the discovery also took some time so in why do we call them inert gases means they are found in the trace amount only some amount it is present and also their outermost shell is filled so they don't no need electrons to fill their octet and that is why they don't react with any other element so we call them as a inert gases okay so they inert gases are present in the 18th group neon argon krypton xenon radon and they found in the free state okay so since they found they are present in the trace amount some am only few amount so they took long time to find out but in 1785 cavendish carried out some experiments with air in which he separated nitrogen gas and oxygen gas from it he was left with bubbles of some unknown gas possibly organ but he was unable to identify it it was more than 100 years before these bubbles were identified as the new element in 1894 two scientists called ramsey and relay found that the density of nitrogen gas obtained from air is more than that of pure nitrogen from which they concluded that another gas was present in air so they separated the gas and called it argon so the air is the mixture mixture of four gases so what are those four gases means nitrogen oxygen then organ organ another one is the carbon dioxide so, and then water vapor also it is present water vapor okay in the air and ramsey also included other inert gases like helium neon krypton and xenon in this way most of the non metals had been discovered by the end of the 19th century inert gases were found out lately but the name also given very late so so many non metals are present uh, discovered at the end of the 19th century here are some questions what are metalloids give any two examples metalloids means what the metal the metalloids which is separate both the metals and non metals so these are the metalloids they separate both the non metals and metals and they are present in the zigzag manner and they have the characters of the metal and also the non metal that is why we call them as a metalloids or semi metal that means half metal half non metal properties of metal properties they have metalloids two examples means we can write boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium and so many are there okay so this is the one another question give reasons why gases elements are uh, discovered quite late as compared to solid elements because these gases are mixed with the other gases and with other element that is why it is it took long time to find out the gases and the third question the elements of the elements of group 18 do not normally take part in chemical reactions why because the group 18 or belong to so group 18 where is the group 18 so this is the group 18 because their outermost shell is filled with the electrons they no need of the other electrons to fill the octet so that is why they don't react with with any other elements we call them as inert gases and also we find them trace amount in the nature trace amount means very less amount so that we call them as inert gases okay so chemistry of non metals non metals except hydrogen are found between group 14 to 18 in the periodic table which means that they have 4 to 8 electrons in their outermost shell since non metals have a tendency to gain electrons therefore they are electronegative in nature so electronegative in nature means if they are gaining the electrons to fill their octet 
gaining means getting electrons from other elements to fill their octet it is called as electronegative and electropositive means when they give the electrons when they lose the electron they are called as electro positive okay that is why in the assignment 2 you got the question when we move down a group how the electronegativity is when we go from left to right in the periodic table how the electronegativity is so here i will explain to you when we uh, when we move down a group electronegativity is decreasing when we go from left to right electronegativity increases because this non metals are left side so that when we go from uh, right side so that when we go from left to right electronegativity is increases when we come from top to down in a group electronegativity decreases because this side when we see here you see metals and here metalloids and metals are there here also metalloids so when we go down a group there are no non metals so here also no non metal that is why when we go down then electronegativity decreases when we go from left to right electronegativity increases because non metals will gain the electrons and become a electro negative so that is why so we know that non metals are more electronegative than metals but the electronegativity of each non metal is not same the value of electronegativity for non metal range from 2.01 to 4.1 in the chapter on periodic table we saw that electronegativity decreases on going down a group and increases on moving left to right in a period please underline this point this means that the elements of group 17 are most electronegative fluorine has the highest electronegativity value and that for oxygen and chlorine also quite close the value of electronegativity determines how a non metal will react with metals or other non metals all non metals except those in group 18 from negative ions or covalent bonds during chemical reactions let us now study about some common chemical reactions shown by different non metals